through your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. This is going to be the final season review for the second season before we start the new career mode next Monday. If you haven't yet voted for the new career mode, there is a link in the description to the uh, the poll on strawpoll.com. So go across and have a vote. As I record this on Wednesday, Atletico Madrid sit first by just over 100 votes from AC Milan. So is not too far between the two, so there's still potential for everything to change. But uh, as things stand, Atletico Madrid are ahead. So uh, let's round up Season 2, shall we? We had a decent season to a point, and then everything kind of fell apart towards the end. We uh, we went on a poor run of form and uh, throughout March and April, and unfortunately got knocked out of the Champions League at the semi-final stage, knocked out of the FA Cup at the semi-final stage, and uh, after being top for a lot of the season, were pipped to the total by Arsenal, as you can see. Let's go into the league table to have a quick look at the final standings. You can see, we did only end up finishing fourth. If you did miss the previous episode, then feel free to go back and click on the uh, the annotation on screen in the bottom left hand side of your uh, of your picture or just check the channel page for uh, for the video from yesterday but as you can see Arsenal win the league by 8 points ahead of Manchester United Liverpool and ourselves that uh, all finish with Champions League football next year Spurs finish 5th get themselves Europa League rather stereotypically Spurs get the Europa League and uh, unfortunately for Manchester City after winning the title by an absolute mile last year picking up 90 plus points they find themselves 6th at the end of the second season a real big surprise there that they weren't competitive in this second year but uh, moving down let's see rele relegated were Reading, Cardiff City and Watford unfortunately Watford really weren't on the pace as you can see only three wins Cardiff only two wins although they were able to avoid defeat on more occasions but uh, Reading as well losing out all three of them were kind of a long way off the pace of the rest of the league Leicester came up and stayed up so congratulations to them the only team to come up and stay up and do so so we're very uh, pleased for them you have to say let's have a quick look at European competitions shall we the Europa League Manchester United won the Europa League with a 2-1 win over Roma. Big semi-final there, as you can see. 5-1 win over Liverpool on aggregate. Absolutely massive. And uh, Manchester United taking home the Europa League. And in fact, the Champions League was won by Borussia Dortmund. As you can see, they did beat us on uh, on away goals in the semi-finals to, to go through and win the cup. They get revenge, get revenge, get revenge rather, for, uh, for the defeat in the 2013 14 no 2012 13 season rather that uh, that they lost to Bayern Munich at the final like we said in the in the ap episode itself it was a surprise to uh, to have the first season be Chelsea Bayern Munich like it was in uh, 11 12 and then for the next season for it to uh, be Bayern Munich and uh, and Borussia Dortmund like it was in 2013 so uh, it was quite uh, quite freaky actually that, uh, that that ended up like that of course we did win the Copa Europa from uh, from the earlier season after winning the Champions League in the first year, Zenit St. Petersburg went down 2-1 to a defeat to us. So we're very, very pleased to do that. Let's have a quick look at some of the other top leagues around Europe. We'll start as we scroll through. It takes a while to scroll through these. It's rather annoying, but uh, we'll start. Well, obviously, we've seen England. Uh, let's have a quick look and see who came up. Hull City and Crystal Palace get the two automatic positions. 104 and 102 points apiece. Wowzers, real runaway uh, runaway champions and second place. They're not too sure who's won the playoffs, but uh, it's either Bolton, Derby, Stoke or... QPR will be coming back up. In France, PSG have won the league by two points from Marseille. Really close to the wire, that one, as you can see. Just a one game between it, one draw and uh, one extra win between the two sides. Germany, FC Bayern München have won the league against Bayern, uh, Borussia Dortmund. So Dortmund getting payback for uh, for losing the league by three points by winning that Champions League title. Very, very pleased for them. Juve, Inter and Milan are all three of the Serie A options in the vote for, uh, for the next career mode. Juve winning the league by 10 points. They're ahead of Inter, just three points ahead of fellow San Siro and Milan side. AC. So uh, let's have a quick look at Spain, then the final big league as Ajax there winning in the Netherlands. Spain with the final big league in Europe, although let's have a quick look at Portugal. Sporting Benfica, not Sporting Benfica, Sporting Lisbon came uh, top of the league ahead of Sporting Lisbon Benfica, who uh, who came second. And then Porto a long way behind on 61 points. But Spain, uh, let's have a look. I'm not too sure who will have won this. It could have gone either way. Barcelona win the league by a point, by a single point. Massive. Two runaway teams. Then uh, Valencia in third and Atletico Madrid in fourth at the final championship. Champions League spot. So, uh, if we are to pick Atletico Madrid for the next career mode, as they sit top of their uh, top of the uh, the vote so far, then there's definitely a lot to build on there. So, hopefully, if uh, they are the team that we get, then uh, we can do quite well with them. Let's have a final a final look at uh, at the squad report. Then we'll go through the team, see how everyone's been progressing so far. Because, of course, we may still come back to the Chelsea career mode at a later date. 
towards the uh, the end of FIFA 14 before we hit FIFA 15. I may come back and do a third season here. So Petitech, no improvements all round, but crucially, considering he's 33, no decreases in any stats as well, which could be vital. Uh, Danilo improving nicely in key areas. Uh, technically as opposed to uh, to physically he's still very very good physically obviously sprint speed of 89 acceleration of 83 but defensively very very good indeed he's uh, shot power standing tackle and sliding tackle moving up as well including the uh, the crossing as well which is very very nice for uh, for a wing back Rafael Varane real big improvements to him technically really coming along especially in the tackle and uh, in the air so very very pleased with that up two overall to uh, to 86 David Luiz no real improvements just one on aggression but no def uh, no decreases instead so uh, that's good Matteo De Chilio, no increase overall although he has gone up in the key areas sliding tackle stand tackle and acceleration and sprint speed as well he's a very very fast player been really impressed with him this year Unfortunately, there won't be any Player of the Year awards this uh, this second season, but uh, I would probably, if I were going to give a Youth Player Award, it would go to Matteo De Cilio. Uh Lars Bender, not really improving overall, but he's been a consistent player for us. Uh, let's have a look. How many goals and assists? Two goals, six assists. So not the best, not the worst, but uh, you know a solid performer throughout the season. Ramirez as well. Same with David Luiz. No real improvements, but no real decreases in uh, in stats either. Been another run of the mill player for us. Andre Schelle won Player of the Year last year. Not really improved so much this year as he did last year. Although up one overall, and his value has increased to 12 million. Eden Hazard was a very very good player for us last year, and same this year. In fact, I do believe he was our top scorer with 11 goals and six assists as well. But uh, very very, very nice improvements for him on the technical side of things. A lot of plus threes and plus fours in there, as well as his overall going up by uh, by one to 87. 27 and a half million pounds paid for it. Oh, he is valued out. Very, very nice indeed. Marco Royce, a decent this season. Very, very consistent. At, uh, seven goals, six assists, uh, average rating of seven in, uh, in all competitions, but uh, I really expected more. He did more than David, uh, than David. He did more than Juan Mata did in, his se uh, in the first season, which is why we uh, rotated him out. But uh, we did a straight swap, if you remember, Marco Royce for Juan Mata. But he's not really improved as much as I may have liked him to. Luis Muriel, very, very good player for us. 12 goals. In fact, he is our top goal scorer in all competitions. 12 goals and 5 assists. Uh, really, really picking up on uh, the finishing, ball control and dribbling. His b t first touch and uh, his ability to uh, to twist and turn in and out of players is absolutely next level. He's a wonderful player. If you haven't picked him up for your career mode, then i Highly recommend that you do so. Up to at 85 overall. Ashley Cole decreasing as expected. He is now 34 years old. Oscar is very, very good now. 87 overall. Again, plus threes and plus uh, fives in long shots and shot power. Very, very surprising there. Actually, wasn't expecting him to have gone up so far or so much in such a sport, short space of time. But valued at 32 million pounds. A real standout player for us. Uh, Quadro Asamoah, I was very pleased with him this year. Coming on leaps and bounds in the technical side of things again. Of course, by the time you get to 26, you're not really expecting too many physical stats to improve. You kind of reached the peak of your physical uh, physical appearance and uh, physical stats, etc. But pleased with quite a while. Leroy Fair came in and made a difference, scored one and uh, got four assists. Consistent in, in the Champions League, although not quite as consistent as I may have liked in the Premier League. But a lot of those were substitute appearances, so we can't be too critical of Leroy Fair. Improving in uh, some key areas, of course, with uh, with long shots, shot power, heading accuracy, etc. Although it would be nice if his tackle stats would have improved, considering we used him as a holding midfielder. Willian, again, another run-of-the-mill player. Not really too many improvements, but... Uh, Two goals, five assists, not the best, not the worst, pretty average. Uh, Branislav Ivanovic won Defender of the Year last year. He improved one overall, which is weird considering he's now 31 and only went up plus one on his aggression. But uh, again, another very, very consistent player, 71, 71, 7.1 on his overall appearance. Fernando Torres went down some stats and uh, only picked up nine goals this year. Of course, he was our top goal scorer last year. Nathan Ake improving very nicely as well. He's been out on, no, he's been in the first team a few games. So uh, perhaps if he'd gone out on loan, he may have improved a little bit more. Uh, Jamal Blackburn improving a little bit but not really enough to uh, to warrant him staying at the club I don't think uh, Kurt Zuma we've brought in as a, of course that's very realistic considering he's now at the club full time and uh didn't really feature too much for us, although has improved a little bit. Lucas Piazzon is a player that has come on leaps and bounds. Very impressed with the way he's progressed through the past couple of seasons. And uh, picking up four goals and four assists. 
very consistent in the Premier League, so you can see 7.2 on his overall rating, and uh, he really is improving in all areas, so very pleased with that. Thomas Callas, been in and out of the first team a few times, done well when he's come in, been very uh, consistent for us, as you can tell from the uh, the average ratings there, but uh, another player that hasn't really sh uh, lit the world alight is Marco Van Ginkel, come in, we record him from loan. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne is improving all across the board, although his form is bad, and he is unhappy, so... Uh, as you can tell, one goal and one assist from 18 games really isn't what we're looking for from him. So perhaps he might be moving on should we come back to this career mode. Thibaut Courtois is a player that is improving in physical stats, but not in his goalkeeping stats. So I'd prefer that he improves somewhere else. But uh, Arturo Vidal, of course, has been injured for uh, for ages. Seven months he's been out total with the anterior crucial ligament damage. A crucial player for us. Perhaps if he'd still been in the side, we would have done better and been able to hold on for that league title. Who knows? But look, Remy came in and did a job. Six goals in 11, uh, 11 games, which is very, very pleasing, although picked up a broken ankle, which is disappointing. Again, if we'd have had his goals, perhaps the season wouldn't have ended in quite so dramatic, negative fashion. But JT losing stats and uh, hasn't been as fully involved as uh, we might have liked. And then the players out on loan. No real improvements other than uh, Christian Atsu going up plus three. Uh, perhaps he might be used a little bit more should we return to this series. And Ryan Bertrand as well as a rotation player at Wimback doing quite nicely out on loan. But that's all for uh, for this particular season and this particular series that's going to bring it to a close. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. We'll be back with more uh, Home From Home tomorrow as well as the Road to Division 1. Of course, that new Ultimate Team series, Home From Home, will be coming back to you on both Saturday and Sunday. So do be sure to stick around for that. There was a giveaway or will be a giveaway in both of those episodes so if you did vote for the new player then feel free to check that video out like i say if you haven't voted already for the new career mode it ends tonight so check the link in the description subscribe if you haven't and uh, that's all from today guys thank you very much for watching and i will see